reading from is called Every Moment Holy. It's the second volume uh, in the two volume set that they've made so far. And uh, Esther got me the first one a few years ago. And the idea behind it is trying to have prayers for basically all, all the things that happen in life, including uh, prayers for the first uh, night out camping or prayers for the uh, going and getting your Christmas tree and things like that throughout the year. And their, set, their first volume dealt with a lot of celebrations. Their second volume uh, is called Death, Grief, and Hope. And so I thought I'm going to look through this one and see if there's something that jumped out to me as, as appropriate. And I, I think this one, I think this one is. And when we are done, there's a short thing in the back that I will read as well. But uh, as, as you all are familiar in the liturgy, uh, the uh, parishioners, the attendants, uh, respond with the words in bold. We are embodied beings, O Christ, formed at your command. We are creatures of dust, and we return to dust. Be merciful, O Lord, to your children, whose lives are so brief, and who grieve today. For we are gathered to honor this dust that remains of the body of your child, June. And as we honor these ashes, and as they are committed, we take solace in the knowledge that their eternal spirit has not passed into emptiness, but has already returned to you. How great is our consolation, knowing that even now, John is alive in Christ. May they dwell in peace in your presence, O Lord. May they dwell in your love and your light until such time as we make this our present sadness and all things right and new. O Christ, make this and all things right and new. We commit these ashes in sorrow. Let me spread them as sorrow scattered seed in expectation of this time. For we know these remains do not signify a final end. Death marks only the start of a pregnant silence. They will one day be shattered by a trumpet blast, heralding a final triumph. When you, O Christ, in fulfillment of your promises, restore creation, destroy death forever, and raise your children to eternal life. Restore our lost fellowships. By taking upon yourself a body like ours to live and to die among us as one of us, and yet to also rise as the first fruits of the resurrection, you, Jesus, forever transform our lowly estate, enlivening our eternal hope, and giving substance to our faith in the promise that we, like you, at the summons of God, will rise from the sleep of death bodily resurrected, physically remade, reconstituted, transformed in glory, a reality of which the emergence of bright butterflies from their cocoons is only a pale and imperfect parable. Let our hearts, O Lord, be shaped by this truth. Let our hopes, O Lord, be shaped by this vision. Even as we release James ashes, Within us. By the same act, we grieve our goodbye. And we proclaim our great hope. In the shadow of death, we proclaim that a day will come when June will again dwell in your created world, O Christ. In these our brief mortal bodies, perishable and perishable seed, will come again imperishable. We are creatures of dust. And we return to dust. Seal our hearts unto the day of our resurrection, O Spirit of God. Seal our hearts unto the day of our resurrection, O Spirit of God. Seal our hearts unto the day of our Gracious and loving God, Lord, we just pray your blessings upon Steve and Kathy and upon all of Kathy's family as they grieve the loss of June. 
I pray your special counsel be with them. And I give you thanks, Lord, for Kathy's faithfulness in caring for her mom and dealing with all of the difficulties of her passing with such courage and strength. Lord, let this be a time of release and relief for her, that this would be, bring her closure and the completion of her work as being a good and loving daughter. Pray your blessings upon her and Steve and Tracy, and just ask that you would guide them and give them your peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us conclude with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The Psalms David wrote, he said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup runneth over. You anoint my head with oil. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.